Hello and welcome to Experience Points. Today I would like to announce the winners of our art drawing giveaway. And they are Twitter users at PonPonPatapon, at Amy Lee, and at Duncan Ooms. Thank you guys so much for entering and uh, congratulations for winning. We will be getting in touch with you so that we can put you in touch with Zuzu Arty and get you those sketches. Anyway, now to our episode. Hello and welcome back to Experience Points. I'm your GM, Miu, and I am guiding our queer cast through our space adventures. The new crew of the spaceship Zephyr consists of Captain Kira. Hi. Pilot Absco. Hello. Science Officer Angus. Hi. And Mechanic uh, slash Engineer Phaedra. Hey. <laughs> ah, uh, and Pilot Absco, please report on the state of the crew. Pilot Log, in Hangar 19, our crew stuffs the bodies of the Riff Raff in the deliveries bay. Angus and I make sure we are flight ready. Phaedra figures out how hangar doors work, and Kira drags the corpse of Gideon along our, on our way to the Ferrabarium. <laughs> Angus and Phaedra obsessed over getting a door open. Kira made Gideon speak from the dead for four hours. And when Kira was distracted, I helped Gideon take a long walk out of shore airlock. We settled some differences, laughed, loved, and made it to the Ferrabarium. All well right. done. <laughs> Although the loved is pushing it, I think. <laughs> bit. All right. So yes, up ahead, you see the Ferrabarium, home of the craziest, hottest deals this side of the diaspora. Uh, yeah. Is there anything like any specific deals that like maybe stick out? <laughs> uh, the one that keeps flashing on the billboards is their special uh, boba sale. Buy one, buy another. <laughs> I like that deal. Yes. That's amazing. Is, yes. is there, is there Come check out the boba deals. Is there an obvious like port to kind of go, you know, lock onto? Yes, there is. There is yeah. a, a quite, a, a, there, there's quite a large docking arm that has extended and several ships are, are docked to it. It looks similar to a parking lot. All right. Um, Absco. Shall we thrust our way there? <laughs> thrust on. Do you not think we should be, I don't know, contacting them to make sure we have clearance to dock? I mean, I, oh, not, I think that, that they're just happy that people are showing up. I, that's what I'm thinking. They're they're flashing their sales. We're we're here to buy stuff. If you say so. Uh, maybe, probably not. I mean, Captain, do you want to reach out and touch someone? <laughs> uh, I think I've done enough of that. I'll take a step away. <laughs> this adventure. All right, but well. bring her down and, and see what happens. If we get arrested, we get arrested. <laughs> I love that attitude. I'm, I'm more worried about being crashed into you. Still well, any one spot. As long as we're setting fire to the rain, uh, I'll, I'll go dock. <laughs> All right, you, yep, you, uh, with the 16 for piloting, you pull up to uh, right near the dock. You're, you're initiating docking maneuvers when a face pops up on your computer. Hello, and welcome to the Ferrabarium. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, don't I forget, this is we for have you. self parking at arm A and valet parking at arm B. And don't forget our special guarded parking at arm C. Come check out our food court and the special nightclub, the oomch, 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 oomch. <laughs> I love that place. <laughs> How much is guarded parking? Guarded parking is 500 credits an hour. 
Mm, let's do mm. let's do self parking. Yeah, yeah. Are 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 we at arm A? You are currently at arm A, spot thirty seven. Please remember your spot. Will will do. <laughs> um, so I like. Is there a club for like the club? <laughs> to put on our our spaceship. Yeah. You know what? Yes. yes, there is there is the club. Just hook it up across the computer. It doesn't really. Not do sure anything. it does anything, but you know it's there. <laughs> it it just it makes absolutely no special. Matter. Doesn't yes. do much, but piss you off. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you guys dock. Everything goes fine. The doors hiss open, and there is the long corridor leading up to uh, the Ferrarium proper. Shall we? All right, we start we walking. Shall. All right. Uh, as soon as you you get up to the doors, is someone locking as soon as out you... the ship? Like, because I think Absco set it up so that you have access, or am I still thinking of the hangar? I I, I, the I thought we had abs- uh, access. I'm going to. Um, do what I can to secure the ship? Like, is there a computer's check that I can, like, arm an alarm, have it send a message if yeah, something sure, give happens. me a computer's check. Let's see what you can, can set I up. assist? Yeah, sure, you can assist. There's a 22 sitting there. 15. And a 15 adds to 24. Yeah, what do you want your, what do you want the computer to do? Um, lock all doors to our bio signatures and alert us if something or someone makes it onto the ship. Okay, it will need you to deposit biosignatures. Oh, there is right. a hand-shaped panel that po- uh, a panel that pops up with a vaguely hand-shaped symbol. I put my hand on it. <laughs> Very quickly, you get punctured by something. <laughs> and then it says Captain Kira authorized. I'll go next. Again, you get punctured. <laughs> Science Officer Angus, authorized. Always with the blood on these things, jeez. I, I go to Phaedra. Phaedra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it punctures your hand and says, specimen, invalid. Please try again. <laughs> Put it on there like you mean it. I do it again, but like, like nice and flat, just like the right... Like just, just, it punctures you and goes, specimen invalid. Please try again. <laughs> oh my! I try my other hand. Uh, then it goes, engineer Phaedra. <laughs> <laughs> Authorized user. I put my hand on the print. It punctures it, it, it again. You get pierced, and it is uh, pilot Absco. <laughs> Authorized user. And then I close out the program. All right. You are now all authorized users. Excellent. Um, when I was poking around in the computer, did I notice any, like, um, uh, not fail safes, but uh, protections? Firewalls or anything like that? Firewalls. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got basic stuff. Okay. Your, your, your basic firewall. It's kind of like having Windows Defender. Okay. <laughs> so, Trademark. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need Good enough up- for commercial. <laughs> we need to upgrade this stuff to what's on the door in there. <laughs> well, feel like we should check to see if anyone else is an authorized user, like um, Meryl. Make sure he's not. Oh, that's a good point. Um, I want to check the logs. I. That's why she's captain. There are two other authorized users, Meryl Swarth and Gideon. I, I remember them. Delete. I delete. <laughs> yep. <laughs> delete. 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 They are no longer authorized users. Now we can go. <sighs> so okay, smart. We're good. <gasps> good. Good catch. <laughs> you can see the DM's face up. Well, they foiled that little bit. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> Something didn't feel right, and I was like, this is too easy. <laughs> we solved your ship computer puzzle. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
I, I feel like this is as is, good is, as is going to get. I feel like we're sending our baby off to high school. <laughs> What's high school? That's where babies yeah. go. I don't know. That's where babies go. <laughs> <laughs> where do they come from? Where do they go? <laughs> I'm All right. homeschooled. Cotton Eye Joe. All right. Off we go. Oh, so, couldn't tell. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, oh, that needed to get finished. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, you go down the corridor and you uh, open the door and you are instantly just hit with this crazy crowd. There's all kinds of vendors there. Uh, tons of Isoki running around. It is insane. Uh, instantly, people are all over y'all wanting to uh, get you interested in their boba sale or, you know, the, come come try, you know, Scarlax Canarlac. And it's like this fried, you don't know what it is on a stick. I, can, I still can't get over buy one, buy another. That is just hilarious to me. <laughs> it's a boba sale. Buy one, buy another. <laughs> oh, it's like another night at the bar. Let's just go. Yeah. Um, as I'm, on like as we're making our way through, I want to buy one of like the street meat on a stick here. <laughs> you have to buy another. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you can you can buy one. You okay. you have a uh, you you have a street meat. Are you eating it? Immediately put it in my mouth. <laughs> Roll me like? a fort save. <laughs> oh, <laughs> our first one. Oh, oh, that is a natural one. You instantly lose your lunch as you bite into it, and something green and splooji just like all in your mouth, and it's hot and it's nasty and just. Yeah, is just that the you instantly. The other day? <laughs> oh, just everywhere. I don't. I don't feel so good. Well, stop <laughs> putting all this strange stuff in your mouth. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Ask us to roll a stealth check <laughs> to see if they okay. can kind of fade into the background of all this mess. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Yeah, you're you're moving through relatively unnoticed. Good. Uh, that, that was a nine uh, on my on my dice. So twenty one. Yep. Yep. You're moving That's ridiculous. through relatively unnoticed. So, what? What? Where are y'all going? What are y'all doing? How y'all moving through this? What's your plan of action? Hmm. So we have to meet up with this uh, Meryl Swarth guy, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember what we're supposed to do with this man when we meet him. I'm sorry, this is Yisoki. He owes Solomon a favor? Ah. Uh, I believe? And or he owes Solomon a, uh, something. I, yeah. All right, we'll and just go find basically, him. basically, the drift engine is going to be whatever payment he owes Solomon. Aye, that's the thing. Well, let's go get our drift drive. I, I kind of lean over to Kira and whisper, like, you're the one with the sweet mouth. Go talk to them. Find out where he is. Look of horror on my face. <laughs> 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 and how do you react to someone just out of nowhere? <laughs> to, like, disappear to talks in your ear. <laughs> do you say, Desna? <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, oh. Desna? <laughs> Um, I didn't know you felt that way about me, Desna. <laughs> <laughs> You're very close with your deity. <laughs> very. Um, yeah, uh, so I go over to the nearest person, just like pull someone from the crowd, and I okay. up at them and regretting this. Um, have you seen a Meryl Swarth? And I'm and so sweet. Hopefully, they tell me. I'm going to roll a diplomacy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That is a total of 23, which makes it all the more surprising when all around you, the crowd goes quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone out of the crowd goes, so, you want to see Meryl? And this yes. really rough-looking guy comes 
pushing through. He's got a peg leg and a hook for a hand. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, if I were you, I'd have a real good reason for looking for him. You see, um, one of our associates is looking for him. We, we're not the one looking for him. But um, we've been sent here to talk to him. Starting... Sales. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Of course, that's why we're here. Sales, you say? Well, if you really be looking for Meryl, ye be finding him at the port forward. Hmm. Oh, the puppy. <laughs> oh, did you just say port forward? Why the hell did he I said the port forward? forward. No, that's a great I that's did a say the port forward. forward. It's a great, great bar name. name for a bar. It is. It is. Now, ye be finding them at the Sailor's Lagoon. <laughs> a Sailor's Lagoon? <laughs> the Sailor's, the Sailor's Lagoon. I didn't know y'all had specific ones. <laughs> it's on the fourth deck. Oh, well... Thank you. What, what deck are we on? E beyond the second deck. It's two below the fourth and one above the third. <laughs> right. I was, I was wondering yes, how the numbers worked here. Yeah. Um, is there an <laughs> elevator or some method of conveyance you might point out? Can I, I just do a culture check? The giant shaft now? that says elevator. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you say giant shaft? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. I did indeed. Okay. I just, um, yeah, I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Absolutely. No, you heard it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's <Right>. go. <laughs> that. All right. <laughs> You, you get on the platform. I feel like I'm blushing. Like I, I know I am too. <laughs> oh. you, you get on the platform and it whooshes you up to decks and opens up. Ding. Fourth floor. Marijuana. <laughs> this, the fourth floor, is quite obviously the entertainment floor. Good. As there is. are clubs and bars and hookers and everything you could want. After stepping off the uh, conveyance, I say, thank you, giant shaft. <laughs> <laughs> and the shaft goes, ding, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no words for the direction this podcast has gone. Um, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It did go all downhill from Sweet Mouth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I don't remember the name of the bar we're supposed to go to, but let's go there. The Sailor's Lagoon. Right, the Lagoon. Let's go. Does anyone fan, see it? The fancy Lagoon. Do we see any signs that have, like, you know, pirate hats and, like, legumes? I'm going to do a perception check, see what I see. Okay. Oh, I don't see <laughs> anything. I am overwhelmed by are the hookers. Sure. You, the you hookers are overwhelmed are by the sheer number of just people walking around in obvious party outfits. A uh, couple of 13s there. Yeah, we've got. Uh... Oh, there we go. Kira. There's the Kira. captain. You see some sort of peanut looking thing in a sailor hat. <laughs> <laughs> is that a peanut? It sure is. It's a pirate legume. Awesome. Uh, Let's go. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking ourselves here. Let's 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 move on. Let's, yes. let's, come on, gals. Power through. Power through. <laughs> All right. Yes, you enter into the sailor's legume and uh, sure enough there is a nautical themed club there 
uh, all kinds of people walking around in sailor hats and just having a general good time. You How many? can tell who runs the club quite easily. Oh. He's the Soki dressed in velour, oh. sitting back in a big armchair in a VIP section, surrounded by gorgeous androids. Um, I want to do a perception check to see if there are any obvious weapons or people oh, who are armed. I will okay. join you in that. Okay, we got a 22 and a 14. Uh, you do see a couple of androids and a noir that have non-lethal weaponry on them, but they, they, they have big jackets that say security. Okay. There's a noir on security here? There is a noir on security here. What do they look like? Uh, they are mostly black with a few white spots. Four horns, big tall buff thing, staring grumpily. Big old septum ring. I look at Phaedra and I'm like, 50-50 is one for you. Well, I'm like, 50-50 is one for you. <laughs> I'm gonna approach. I'm gonna approach the <laughs> less attractive one. There's only the one noir, right? There, there's only there's one only noir one. there. Okay, I thought you yeah. said there was two. Okay, no, yeah, there's so, two androids. No, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, so I'm gonna approach the noir. Were you gonna neg that one? That's not right. <laughs> 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 Okay, so, uh, yeah, you walk up, and he's just standing there, surveying the crowd. <laughs> I going to be like, so, and like, because like, Phaedra is just like, really like, she's big and like, very gruff and like, not graceful, like, with words at all, is very like, straight to the point, <laughs> and does not know how to flirt. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just gonna be Perfect. like, so bat my eyelashes at him, but like very badly. <laughs> the look of trepidation <laughs> on everyone's face here as you to get to this is really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, be like, so what's it like to work here? And I like put my finger on his like chest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, roll me a diplomacy oh. check. <laughs> oh god, it's a straight roll. <gasps> oh, oh, that is brilliant. Three. <laughs> he looks at you, he snorts, and then just continues standing there. And, and, and I help her out. I'm gonna, I go up to him and... <clears throat> I, uh, like, lean on the nearest wall, and I'm going to be like, so, is it someone like you ends up at a place like this? <laughs> All right, give me your diplomacy check. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, no. That's a second one. one. For a seven. He looks at, oh. he just looks at the two of you and goes, Y'all are gonna be trouble, ain't you? So I walk I just, away. I'll <laughs> no walk and I walk away. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up and say, "Are these ladies bothering you?" Let's see your diplomacy. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> huh. Eighteen. He looks at you, kind of looks you up and down, and he's like, well, "What's someone like you doing in a place like this?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to save you from these bothersome women. Huh. Let me buy you a drink. That sounds lovely. <laughs> and off it's we just go. Stole my man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As as I walk yep, away, Angus I hear that. Your man. And I'm just like, I told you it was 50-50 who's gonna get this one. <laughs> I I lean into Kira, I'm like now our mating rituals are so weird. <laughs> I know, I know, 
<laughs> Just jealous of success is all I'm hearing. <laughs> all right, so I've cleared him out of the way for you guys to take the next step with the androids. Okay. Um. Uh. So I can see the VIP area, right? Yes. And there, there's someone guarding it. I assume. <clears throat> no, not particularly. Okay, so I'm gonna walk up into the VIP area. And, and Yasoki looks up and is like, "And what can I do for you?" <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm here for a reason. Uh, <laughs> oh, I know. People see this and they just fall all over it, lose their words, get tongue tied. Come have a sweet seat, sweetie. I sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I followed Kira up and I, I you know, after she takes a seat, I, I like this. Or, yeah, that, that's certainly a look. Oh, yes, indeed. This is what success looks like and what I, about you what can i do for you i look at kira <laughs> i didn't i didn't quite catch your name good job swarth's the name meryl swarth perfect it turns out that we are actually here to see you oh well bless my soul What'd you come all this way to see little old me for? Is there somewhere we could speak in private? Well, of course there is. Come on, come on. He I gets go up over there. And leads you through to a back door. Are any of you going to calm me so I can join you? Or are you just going to... Yeah. I, I, I'll have my drink and it'll be fine. I, I am, am texting. I was like, I am texting... Angus, like furiously. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like second location. Second location. <laughs> <laughs> and so my calm is just going bing, 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 bing. And I'm, just a moment, excuse me. I pull it down, I read it, and I'll be right back. I've, I've got to go check on my friends because it seems like they're bothering somebody else now. But you wait right here. And then I head off. All right. All right. So y'all get into a nice back room. That's the door behind him. Sits, go, goes up to his seat where he has it all stacked up with like a booster seat in it so he can sit at the <laughs> table with you. <laughs> Phone so, box. <laughs> pretty much. So, what is it you came to see all Mr. Marifold? Do you know somebody by the name of Solomon? But you, 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 you don't just go running around saying that name, honey. But yes, I know Mr. S. We're in private. Well, Mr. S is everywhere. You don't invoke his name unless you mean it. We've well, been there and we've done that, but... Yeah. We mean it. Well, what's this about? Uh, I'm pretty sure I paid him what I owed him, so I know it can't be that. Did you? That's not our understanding. That's why we're here. Mr. S sent us. All right, all right, look, look, look. I value my kneecaps. So whatever it is that I owe you, I can I can make it happen. Just, okay. just please don't take my kneecaps. Oh, I think the risk is a little bit more than kneecaps. Have you ever heard of someone named Gideon? Well, yeah, I've heard of Gideon. How's the old devil doing? Oh, I don't know. He's floating in space in two parts. Well, why would he do that? Uh, can I roll to intimidate? Go ahead. This is going to be comical, I promise. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he went looking okay. for his kneecaps. <laughs> well, he should know he ain't gonna find him out in space, especially not if he's in two parts. You guys are new around here, ain't ya? Aye. you? Aye. You smell quite green. Man, everybody got you thinking we some big, tough people. That ain't us. Come on, what y'all come to see me for? Well, 
<clears throat> we have a ship, you see. Mm hmm And we're looking for a part for it. Yeah, what part would that be? It's called a drift engine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a drift engine. Needed. <laughs> Y'all need a drift engine. Well, I might be able to come up with a little something. Would it would it be possible to take a look at your ship? You know, make sure we got the right parts. Actually, we left it behind. So how'd y'all get here? We took a shuttle. From where? Somewhere else. Look, I don't think it matters where we took the shuttle from. Can I intimidate him? Oh. Go ahead, give it a shot. Can I assist? Oh, well, that is a not one on the table. You guys look and smell just as green as they come uh, at this point. Yeah, go ahead, Angus. Let, let's see what you got. I got a two. <laughs> Angus looks like he's actually pretty upset. Angus looks like he's actually pretty upset. As an engineer, I think I can give you the specs on what we need without showing you anything else. We need, we, we're here to do a deal. We're not here to give you a tour of facilities. Mr. Well, S didn't send us here to go on a little parade. He sent us here to get a drift engine that you owe. Mr. S. <laughs> well, if you go and be like that, I suppose you can just uh, take yourself on back to your shuttle. And I think our business here is concluded. I don't think so. We need a drift engine, and you're the man for the job. Solomon said so. Solomon. <laughs> All right. Then, see what you can do for us. And don't well, think of it I as would... doing us a favor. Think of it as paying a debt to Mr. S. Maybe that'll well, help I you told come to you a reason. I took care of things with Mr. S, but fine. Fine, Mr. S says I owe him a drift drive. Fine, I will give you a drift drive. An operational drift drive. Oh yeah, totally. Cause I know exactly where one is. He, he reaches under the table, pulls out a little notepad, starts writing down, hands you a set of coordinates. There's a drift drive perfectly operational right there. I sense motive. Yeah, go ahead, sense motive. Ooh. Not 20. That's nice. You can tell he's offended. You have come into his house and insulted him and threatened him. Uh, he's upset. And there, there, there's a hidden layer to something here. I, he's not being I, entirely open with you. I would like to cast detect thoughts. Very, very, um, like, not trying to hide it. <laughs> oh, just all. obviously, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm leaning on, because we're at a table, you said, right? Mm-hmm. So, I'm just, like, <laughs> <laughs> Jenny mind tricking it. <laughs> because I know that he's lying about something. So, it's just, like, and you hear the surface thoughts. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> like he is, like he is, like concentrating on something else. Okay. Um, Abscoe says, "You gave that up pretty easily." Well, I don't <clears throat> want you taking my kneecaps or making me search for them out in space in two pieces. Listen, I know that there's something that you're not telling us, so I am going to go ahead and say that I have something of yours. And what might that be? Uh, where are these coordinates going to lead us? They're going to lead you to a drift drive. Where? Where drift the coordinates where? are. <laughs> Plug Who, them into a map. It'll show you. Whose drift drive are you sending us to? Is it yours? I think you're a smart one. You just said a drift drive. Any old drift drive will do for any old ship. Looks like I'm going to have to go out and call Mr. S. <laughs> you, you do that, honey. I will. Leaving the room. Um, is there is there's nothing more that I can do? Is there a computer in this room anywhere? Not like a, a big computer setup. No, this is like a meeting room. Do, uh, do just, something. Your... Just, just a table and, and chairs. 
darkened windows. I turn to Absco and I'm like, Absco, can you help me with uh, setting up something that'll let Mr. S know that we're here and that this fine gentleman is not willing to pay his debt? Because I'm sure. sure there's plenty of places we can broadcast this to from here. It's no problem. I mean, they have bo bobas everywhere, so we can have yeah. buy one is silky part, get an, buy a second one. Okay. So we'll start working on something like that that we can broadcast from, you know, a personal computer. Okay. Just, I mean, so you're just broadcasting out there? Well, uh, there's the infosphere or whatever I'm assuming we can connect to. The diaspora you connect to the infosphere, yeah. Yeah, and so we'll just put out there, you know, something. Let's just come up with something that'll, you know, mention... Meryl Swart's name as someone who is, you know, disreputable, not willing to pay his debts specifically to Solomon and see how Meryl reacts to that. I don't know. Is that another intimidation check or? Yeah, real roll. Um, I don't know what that would be. I'd say bluff, but I think y'all are actually going to do it. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead and, yeah, make me an intimidation check. That'd be a nat 20. <laughs> nat 20. Yes. You know that that should be terrifying. Mm hmm And he looks at you before he just starts laughing mm -hmm. and laughing. He goes, <laughs> look, why are y'all being like this? I tried to do business with you. And you honestly think Mr. S is just going to, what, come down on me because I didn't give y'all a drift drive? Like, just wrap one up and have it delivered to your shuttle? Okay. I'll level with you. What do you want from us? I just need to see your ship, which you didn't bring with you, to know that my drive will fit. And then we would need to go pick it up. I'm just trying to do friendly business with you. Kira, are you still there? I left the room. You left the room. Is Phaedra texting you? <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to text after some thinking and say we should show him the ship. We've already deleted his um his everything. I mean he's not We also already have the coordinates to mm -hmm. the drift drive. So even if he's sending us into death. Yeah. Well then let's take him with us. How are we going to get him out of there? He wants to go see the ship. Let's take him with us. Okay. I think um, our captain may have overstated how we got here. Um, we... That's your captain? Yes. Woo! Okay. <laughs> she does things much better than, than we do. Um, but we, we did... Uh, we did take our ship here, and we'll, we'll take you to it. Well, see, now we're being reasonable. Oh, you Come haven't on. seen reasonable yet. We can be downright pleasant. <laughs> well, that would be a real pleasant surprise. Let's go take a look at your ship. All right. Let's take them there. Off we go. All right. Oh, yeah. He comes He comes waltzing out uh, there, Kara, with uh, the rest of them. I want to do hey, well, checks, Captain, see anyone permission else. to come aboard your ship. <laughs> I suppose uh, I'll lead us there. Well, thank you kindly. <laughs> of course. I turned to Meryl and I'm like, have you, do you take the shaft? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shaft? Everybody <laughs> takes the shaft around here. <laughs> The shaft is like the best thing in the world. <laughs> oh my God. We leave, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it gets stuck, and you just gotta put a little glue, a little little lube around the edges. And it's all good. I beg to differ. The shaft, you know, it's a little scary to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people think that the first couple times, but once you get used to it, it's no problem at all. Oh, I've taken many a shaft in my day. But this one is specifically scary. <laughs> and the innuendos continue for a I good time. Well, I want to 
peel off from everyone real quick and go yes. meet up with the other noir guy and just explain that I have to go, but you know, oh, he's give him very my sad. number. Just give him my number and Ooh. say, when, oh. when things calm down, you know, we should get in touch and then head out. Well, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, he'll take your number. Cool. <laughs> so, and then I'll rejoin everyone and off we go. Okay. It'd be and rude so to leave you guys hanging like that. Head out to your ship the whole way. Meryl Swarth is just, hey, how you doing, Bob? How's that wife and kids? Oh, yeah. Just he knows everybody there. Just chatting away. Real friendly. Mm -hmm. I want, I want a, a sense motive on those interactions to see if, like, they're genuine between, like, the people on the outside are like, yeah, that's cool. Or they're just okay. like, oh, we have to do that. Give me a sense motive. Yeah. That's a 14. 14, 13 from Phaedra. Everyone else want to roll or? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. We have Ooh. a nine from Angus and a 23 from Kira. Kira? Go, Captain. Yes. Kira. He's being genuine enough. You're not sure how much of this personality might be contrived, but everyone else kind of like, eh, I, you know, kind of shies away from him. But it's not in a like, I'm afraid of this guy. It's in a like, this guy's really weird. And doesn't seem like, to ever shut up. Weird and annoying. <sighs> Pretty much. Like, everyone's like, oh, God, he's coming. <laughs> you know, like, like, turns around, walks the other way. Like, please don't say hi to me. Please don't say hi to me. Please don't say hi to me. More or less. Yeah. He has go yeah go oh, good. Thank God he's going. All of a sudden, nobody's selling Bubba anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, you know. But, yeah. No, you guys get out there and take the long walk. Why the hell did y'all park in self-parking? Should have at least gotten the valet. Economics. We are on a budget. Well, the valet is only five credits. We are real poor. <laughs> that was not made clear when we were pulling in. Oh, yeah, I've been telling them forever. They got to advertise them prices better. All right, so where are... Oh, my heavens. As I live and breathe. Where did y'all get that, Zephyr? I told you about Gideon, right? Yeah. Have, we told, have we told you that Mr. Solomon likes us? It's yeah. been repossessed. Well, I mean, well, I ain't gonna ask no questions. I mean, I only sold the thing to Gideon a couple months ago. Hmm. Your name was he still on up. it. He goes, oh, yeah, he was going to strip it down for parts, sell them off. But, you know, worth more that way. Reaches up, puts his hand on the biometric scanner. Well, my name ain't on it now. Oh, no. No. No, no it's not. Well, look Sweet. at you. All right. <laughs> I'll touch the panel. After you, Captain. Put my hand oh, well. on the panel. <laughs> I feel like everyone just reaches for the panel <laughs> just to show this guy up one. But, but it's just me. It's just me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Doors open up. Well, this place was uh, torn down for sure. All right, all right. And just walking through, taking a look. Definitely tell he knows the ship, especially when he walks right up to the panel. That panel. Mm hmm. Punches in the code. And sure enough, whoosh, Everyone do a perception check, see if we capture what that code yeah. <laughs> is. I got a 21. Ooh. 23, 21? or no, it was 20, my essence model, I'm sorry. 24? You got a 10. I got a 10. <laughs> nine and a Be 10. A nine. Okay. No one got the whole thing, but with a quick like look at each other, you're pretty sure you could have gotten, gotten it. Okay. <laughs> Put your heads together. Um, I'm going to pull out my comm, and, well, I guess I should try and stealth that, huh? Do I have to roll for stealth to pull out my comm, or...? If you're okay. trying to do it stealthily. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I only have a <laughs> negative two to it, so what the hell, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah, you pull your, your comm out stealthily with the 16. Sure, and then I'm just going to text the part of the code I know to um, everyone in, the, in our party, not Meryl. And just say this is what I got. And just like that, send it to the group chat real quick. That way I'm not 
That way I don't risk forgetting. Okay. Cool. So what's behind the door? Just look. There is a compartment. Anything it's in empty. it? Oh. No, it's empty. Got very dim lighting. It's all very nicely shielded. Should be pretty well undetectable. He kind of looks around and goes, Ah! That's cool. Just walks off. I might be a little cranky about that. <laughs> um, what was that code that you entered there? Could it you tell you us? Code. Yeah, it gives Thank you the you. code. Okay. Thank you. He goes, that's that's my birthday and then Gideon's anniversary and then my youngest child's <laughs> sister's birthday. I, I, that's a, as good of a code as any. <laughs> when he says um, and, Gideon's uh, anniversary, I'm like, he was married? How many times? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, go, like, I, I think he had, uh, last count, I think he had seven different wives on seven different planets. Yeah, Absco's continence, or countenance just goes... <laughs> Straight. <laughs> it becomes incontinent. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're so mad they shit themselves. <laughs> I'm gonna like look at Angus and just be like, "Okay, you're so weird." I, I don't even know. <laughs> so yeah, he's looking around. It's down there now. What did he do? Oh man, you know you really should talk to Gideon about getting your money back for this. Because look at this. You can barely run what you got on this power core. And these thrusters? Mm, I think, I hope you didn't pay too much for this. Oh, no. We, it was more of a gift. As I said, it was zest. A, a repossessed gift. Yes. It I... was repossessed from Gideon and given to us as a gift. By Mr. S. I keep getting Southern because well. of you. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he looks, he goes, yep, showing off. The, uh, the drift drive's gone. Wow, that shouldn't be too hard. What say you we uh, go pick one up? Let's go. And with that, our fateful adventurers go tooling off in the galaxy to pick up Ugh. a drift drive. Why do we make everything so hard for ourselves? Seriously. <laughs> I was We're just sort skeptical of, wondering of everyone that and everything. We're just <laughs> anticipating it'll be terrible. So we're like, okay, let's deal with terrible. Oh. I, I think we have a basis for suspicion of everything. <laughs> True. I, I think y'all do. I think y'all do. All right. So I think that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. So for experience points, I'm Miu. You can catch me on Twitch and Twitter at Miu Plays Games. Um, Kelrick, you can catch me at EQ Points. I'm Taylor. You can catch me on Twitter at Milky Games. That is Games, G-A-Y-M-E-S. I'm Megan. You can see me at, at Dungeons and Meg on Twitter. I'm Punder. You can find me on Twitter at, at Punder Drone, D-R-O-N-E. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.